Welcome back to Excel with Mark and today what we're going to be looking at is how we can lock cells so that they're unable to be edited at any point. So we can see here that we have a little table for Mark, Gemma and Owen for sales in January, February and March. Now within this table at any point we can edit and we can change it at the moment and we can see that we can move all the cells about nice and easy. There's no kind of error messages or anything that will stop us moving stuff about. So if you create something like this and you don't want anybody to be able to edit it, this is how you're able to change it quickly and easily. So starting out we want to select all the cells by clicking up in the top left hand corner here and we can see that selects everything. We can then click right click and go down to format cells. From here we can see protection. Now we can see that all the cells have locked already ticked there for them. We can click OK. Now this has locked everything within the spreadsheet to start out with, but obviously that isn't what we want to be able to do. We want to be able to edit these cells in the middle here so that we can alter and edit them as kind of time goes on or we can add to it and so on and so on. So to sort this out, what we can do is we can click at the beginning of January and just select the cells that we want to make editable. And again, right click and go to format cells on protection tab and this time we want to untick the locked kind of box clicking ok at that point now what that's doing is telling excel that everything is going to be locked other than these nine cells here so this isn't where it ends we want to go up to the top here we want to click up onto review and now we want to click protect sheet at this point you can see that you get this little pop-up here and you can enter a password if you want to do so that at any point uh, if you wanted to make any amendments or anything like that you'd have to enter the password but we're just going to leave that out for today and we're going to click OK. So now everything should be locked as is and we shouldn't be able to make any additions or any edits to anything kind of outside of this little box here. So if we click into this and we start to type we can see that we get that little pop up there telling us that they were unable to edit that. Whereas if we click into that part there and we say we edit it, we can see that everything works how it should do, but we are able to edit these nine cells within that part there. So if we want to undo this at any point where we're able to change things again, we can again click up onto the review and then we can go to the unprotect sheet, clicking on that and we can see that that's changed back to how it was. And now again, we're able to move stuff about and change it and do whatever we need to do. So hopefully this explains how to lock cells for you. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll hopefully see you again soon.